Greetings everyone and welcome back to Captain of Industry, where in the last episode we set up our new refining operation amongst very many other things. Now in this episode we are going to be continuing with the theme of building new stuff rather than replacing old stuff. I, well I guess this is kind of replacing old stuff, though we haven't actually gotten rid of the old stuff so on a technicality it's building new stuff, I'll take it. But in today's episode we're actually going to be focusing on a brand new industry and that industry is going to be making use of the salt that we produced in uh, the new refinery or rather that is being produced in the new refinery we are going to be of course setting up our glass industry first we're going to have to make glass mix and then we will go on to making glass panes and if we're lucky by the end of the episode we'll even have found a use for some of it i've already got a couple of ideas earmarked but as with the last episode, before we can get down to the new stuff, we have got a little bit of housekeeping to do. So I hope you won't mind joining me as we uh, glance through the colony and put right a couple of things that uh, kind of got out of hand in the last episode whilst I was entirely too focused on trying to get oil refining up and running. All right then, it's on to the housekeeping first. And I'm a little bit surprised that there is actually any housekeeping to do, given that we uh, started off the last episode with a bunch of housekeeping. But then it occurred to me that given that each episode is now many, many hours long worth of recording, yeah, problems do pile up. And the first one on the agenda for today is to deal with some edicts. We need to maximize the amount of food that we have, so plenty of everything kind of needs to turn off, and I will uh, be sad to see the unity bump go, but that one is gonna have to just uh, be the way it is. Now, as for growth boost, we actually do need some more pops. This one's gonna be a bit of an awkward one though, because as you can see, I've not actually got any uh, positives and I'm trying to strip out quite a lot of unity so we might have to fiddle around with that one but I'm going to turn that on for as long as we can and then I'll just toggle it off as and where possible. Next on the docket is to adjust our uh, research priorities. Currently we're researching through large excavator and then we're moving on to fuel uh, sorry, exhaust filtration. I'm actually going to remove that one from the queue. And the reason for that is obviously in today's episode, we're going to be aiming to get some glass making going. And so I think greenhouse is actually going to be a more useful one to have as the second in the queue. I will put exhaust filtration on behind greenhouses though. Uh, next up, we need to check out the excavation and dumping. And the first one of these that I... There's actually quite a lot that we need to do here. But uh, firstly, let's have a quick look at how this is going. That is worrying, actually. Hmm. I am a little bit concerned about that. Uh, especially because all of this will just kind of fall away without... Ooh, yeah, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to remove that, unfortunately. Uh, I'm also going to remove this. That, we're going to have to wait until I can rejig these pipes a little bit to give us some more room so that my trucks can get over there and replace this with stone. Uh, as you may be aware from the, uh, from the uh, dev blogs, if you're following those, you can now undermine structures. Previously, this would have just kept the terrain at a, at a sheer drop-off, but now it's, it's being undermined. And if we undermine enough, eventually that will actually collapse. So I've told them to stop digging away too aggressively. They'll just finish off a little bit of work, but then they'll move on. Uh, at this point, I think we probably need to start expanding out down here instead. So let's go ahead and do that. That should give us quite a lot of... Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to go up. We want to go along. I'm perfectly happy with them digging this ramp out a little bit. Uh, well, actually, we'll, we'll pull that one back just to allow a little bit more room. Because the problem with soil and, indeed, any, any loose material is it will collapse. So I don't want to take away too much of the path where our trucks are going to take over here. Because that would uh, be a little bit of a problem. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, as you can see down here, we're currently dumping off a load of materials over here. And whilst I started that as just somewhere to put stone... Uh, I have got a couple of ideas for this little area we're building out. However, we do still need to expand this area out a bit. 
So let's f uh, fill some things in around here. Specifically, what I would like to do is I want a little area that we my trucks are going to be able to navigate down here because we are going to need to have some uh, pipe, uh, pipe work branching off from here, specifically naphtha and fuel gas, so that we can continue supplying our uh, steam turbines automatically. I don't want to have to go back to relying on our trucks to do all of that work. It is a lot of work for them to do. So let's just push this out by about two tiles. That should give me all the room that I'm going to need to be able to work on things. And it might also give me a, a couple of extra options on uh, other buildings that we can place down here, because there are a few that are on my mind in that regard. Uh, on the topic of the dock over here, whilst again, yes, this is more or less temporary, I kind of like it. And I think right now they've got enough room to expand out, but we might actually want to expand this a little bit more in the future, as I think this would actually be a fairly good place for us to set up the glass mix, and maybe even bringing the cement back down. I know we, we only just built it, it feels like, uh, over there, but uh, thinking about it, I'm not actually adverse to having it over here. I just don't want it clogging up this area specifically. So that's the excavation and dumping taken care of. Next up, we need to deal with, well, excavation, but in a different way. Uh, specifically, I would like a new mind control tower. Uh, you know what? This one can be a mind control tower, sure. Yuri is in control of this one. Uh, we are going to edit this area. Uh, um... Okay, we're going to have to be a little bit more careful about where I place this one, but I would like the mine control area to be about that. Uh, I'm going to specifically remove the flatten commands over here. And the reason why I was umming and ahhing there is that by building a mine control tower and putting its area of effect over this area, I am basically giving all of the dump commands to this mine control tower and it will it will control very aggressively what can be dumped there. Whereas right now, I just want anything to be dumped over here. I don't want this dock to actually be under control of any of the mine control towers. Uh, this one is fine though, I, I don't really mind that one too much. But the reason why we're building this is we're going to need sand for glass. If we have a look at glass mix, uh, where will you be? Uh, okay, it's not down there. It'll be with G's. Of course it will. Uh, we are going to need sand, limestone, salt to make just regular glass mix. Or with the addition of acid, we can make as much glass mix as we put sand into it. So the sand to glass mix will be a one-to-one. -one. Otherwise, it'll we'll lose a little bit. But uh, there's other reasons why we'll, we'll want to use the acid one, and that is in regards to ratios. Uh, now, with that one set up, we should be okay there. This one is already... Well, actually, this one could probably do with a bit of an expansion, actually. Uh, let's move things out a little bit. We want a little bit more of this limestone brought in. Please and indeed thank you. Let's expand that out a little bit while we're here. Uh, something like this should do, I would say. Let's bring that all the way down and dig that up into that corner. Now, the thing with all of this is we are going to need some storage i've really tried to resist this for as long as i possibly could but at this point we really do need to start uh sending the limestone wherever it's got to be right now we're going to be building the glass mix over here so it's a fairly short trip but whilst the cement is over there our trucks for the limestone are having to do that entire trip by themselves i'd rather offload that work onto the logistics fleet so let's pop down one for limestone Probably one for sand as well, though sand is probably okay. Uh, maybe one for dirt. Yeah, we'll leave it at limestone, dirt, and rock, I'm going to say. We're probably going to want rock as well. Ah, drag down and blast. Uh, the ground isn't level enough there. Will it be level enough over here? It will. Fantastic. Okay, we'll get rid of this one then. Right, so this one will be set for limestone. There we go. And we won't be exporting from that. We want this one set for sand. Won't be export. Uh, actually, there's one for dirt because sand can just be taken elsewhere. And then this one for rock. There we go. Perfect. And then these will in turn be set up. So once again, uh, this one was for limestone, sand, then rock. So limestone, no import there. Sand, uh, once again, not sand, dirt, 
and rock. There we go. All sorted. Now, I'm going to set this one up because we are soon going to be dealing with the very big, gigantic trucks that we're going to have. I am going to want these to empty at this point 120 because the giant trucks can carry 60 each. So we want to make sure that uh, they don't try to empty it until there is a uh, full load of material available to be taken away. And with that, we are going to dedicate to there. At this point, our trucks will only carry sand away if, if it can't go uh, over here, but dirt will be stored there. Rock, because we probably will dig into rock eventually, though let's have a quick look at that. Uh, we've got tiny bits of sand here, and actually, you know what, there's barely any rock there. And it probably is more sand than, than rock, if I'm perfectly honest, but uh, we'll leave it like that one anyway. That should still be fine. So these vehicles are going to just sit tight for now. Hopefully that will be built in just a moment. And likewise, we're going to need something like that over here. Now, on this side, I'm going to say it's probably just going to be sand and dirt. So let's go ahead and set up a pair of... Uh, storages for sand and dirt. Ultimately, I'm not worrying too much about if I get this right or not, uh, simply because it's going to be so easy for me to fix it later that uh, I'm not uh, not going to really panic about this one. And this one will be dirt. We can always add more if we need to. And once again, I want this to be emptied once there is just over 120, so two large trucks worth of material. Now, this one we're going to want to flatten out, and ooh, we could dig into the mountain a little bit there, but uh, let's let's not. Let's uh, err on the side of caution, shall we? And do that. We're just going to take apart this sandbank there, if at all possible. This should only be sand that we're digging up, but if not, again, I can easily add some more uh, storages there. There we go. Right, <laughs> of course. The one that you haven't finished, the one you finished last, is the one that we're actually making use of. You scallywags. There we go. Trucks have got their work to do. And that means that this excavator is now going to be significantly more efficient. Uh, I think we're probably safe with just one. Uh, however, I'm going to take one away from over here. And we're going to pop you down here. One excavator and two trucks should be more than enough to take care of everything there. Uh, looks like we've recently had a delivery of wood there. Fantastic. We definitely need more and more of that at all times. Food supply is a little bit low. Let's have a look at our food at the moment. We're producing 5.8. Over here, we just got a harvest there, and we're about to get another harvest here. In terms of our fertility, the fertility is generally okay. It is slowly climbing, but this is on the third potato in the in the uh, season so honestly this is as low as the fertility is going to get so i'm generally okay with that uh we should be fine and now the fertility will bump straight back up once they switch over to uh, green manure there okay let's have a gander over here i think everything is looking generally okay there all right now the reason I mentioned that we were going to be uh, expanding this out to allow us to split off the piping there, specifically in regards to the fuel gas and the uh, the naphtha, that is definitely something that is going to be taking place throughout the entire episode. So I'm just letting you know now that we are going to be gradually building out these pipes and setting up uh, splitters down there as well. Uh, however, there is one thing that I would like to take care of right away, and that is my acid. I built this pipe to uh, dump any excess acid, and we do need to do that. However, I built it in the spot that we were going to be building the uh, other sour water stripper to allow us to have a second uh, stack of, uh, of distillation going on there. So we need to make a slight change to this, so we may as well do that now, and that should be one of the last things on the agenda for today's... Uh, let's get rid of all of those, there we go. Uh, for today's housekeeping. Right, I'm going to quick remove that one because we're just going to have to. And then we're going to slide this in there. Should be fine. And then connect that back up. Once again, I'm going to quick deliver on this one 
uh, simply because the trucks will have... Well, actually, the trucks could probably reach that fairly, fairly comfortably from there. But uh, for now, let's just get that up and running. Uh, we want to prioritise outgoing on X, but if there is no room for that, then the next stage is to bring that out. Um, slide up there, up, and there we go, and across. And if we can line it up perfectly, then we should just be able to run all the way down here and connect up. And there we go. That will do perfectly. Right, let's get that quick built. And at this stage then, we can strip this down. I'm going to have to change this pipe just slightly, but that should be fine. Let's get that one all done. And again, it's burning through the very limited unity that I have. At this point, I'm going to turn off pop growth. We're actually almost at maximum. I believe our maximum is 960, so we got there on the unity that we had, which I'm actually kind of impressed with, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, right, can we get rid of this? We probably can, yes. And probably can there as well. Though, uh, I know, I know, it hurts me too. But uh, we did need to get that done. There we go. We'll just squirrel that around. And that should be fine. We can get that one quick built. And then this one quick built as well. And that will connect up our acid line once again. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Now we've got room to expand as well. Now, with the last thing I would like to do, we've currently got a, a load of excavators over here. We really don't need that many. And I only just noticed it. So we're going to draw these back. I'll have three trucks, two excavators, that should be more than enough, and that gives us a couple of excavators that we can put elsewhere. Now, where else would we like them? I don't think we need it over in copper. Do we need it over by the iron? Uh, maybe, actually. They're doing a fairly good job of it, but I think they could perhaps do with a little bit more help. So they'll get an extra truck, an extra excavator, but the rest of them... Uh, the, the last one, rather, will head up here and we will continue digging up. And if you notice over here, we're actually starting to break ground. It's starting to trickle down. We have made a massive amount of progress up, up this, uh, this mountain. I wonder what's going to happen, though, when we undermine the trees. I can only assume that there isn't some sort of destructive uh, Valheim-like tree fall down logic that is going to destroy our excavators though if they were i would take that on the chin and i would probably be laughing the entire time i watched it happen whilst deep inside i was crying but uh i can't imagine that's going to be the case and i can't imagine we're actually going to get any of that back i think they'll probably just dig and the tree will disappear that's my guess anyway uh we are still a fair old way from where we need to be we're currently on level 23 and we will even things out at level 30. And then we've got another uh, almost 15 levels to go. We, we are quite, quite far away from having finished this just yet. And I'm making the job a little bit more complicated for myself by having that curve there. But I think it will look pretty cool all the same. All right, so with that, I think uh, we're covered with the housekeeping. I don't think there's anything left outstanding. We've got everything going. The excavators over here at the coal are starting to dig in down here, and we have not destroyed any of the tanks. I... Ooh, that was close. That was shockingly close. You know what? Let's let's not have these be dug up either. Ooh, my, my, my. That, that is way too close for comfort. We're going to have to sort that out sooner rather than later. But I think that is housekeeping complete. All right, then. With large excavator complete and greenhouse on the way, it's time to start making the glass for said greenhouse. So, let's have a look. How much more work have they got to do on these docks? Actually, the docks are more or less where we want them. Now, my plan is to put the glass mix uh, industry down here. And there is a really, really important reason for that. Whereas I am carting the limestone up there, 
A lot of the slag is coming from the foundries over here and the coal from just down there. So limestone is really the only ingredient that's having to travel any significant distance. And the concrete is pretty much only used in this industry right over here. Uh, so I'm keeping the general flow of materials going in one direction. And I'm trying to keep each leg of the journey fairly short. However, glass mix is a bit of a different beast. That needs sand, limestone, salt, and acid, all of which are produced down here, and that will produce glass mix. Glass mix is the only component that is going to be used in making glass, uh, which will be made in the glass furnace with coal. So I'm thinking of building the furnace probably up around here to keep it uh, in the, sort of the same general location as the other furnaces. But we're not going to need too much glass production, all things said and done. Uh, the blast furnace will produce molten glass and the molten glass will go straight into the glass maker. Now, let me actually just click on something and flip that over to 60 seconds because this is a part that's important. At 60 seconds, if we use the acid recipe, we will get 54 glass mix every 60 seconds and the smelter will consume 27 glass mix so we can have two blast furnaces running full bore off a single mixer and each one of those will produce 24 molten glass which is exactly the amount that a glass maker uses every 60 seconds so it's a pretty simple run this way we will have the longest leg of the journey being the glass mix taken from down here all the way up to here and from there it can just be uh, filtered through along with some coal to make glass now glass will probably be used up here as well especially when we switch over from using wood if we ever do but even if we don't uh, it'll be easy enough for us to make the uh, furniture up here as well which is of course one of the main things that we'll be using glass for let's uh, go ahead down this list there we go glass can be used to make wood now we can make that with steel in and glass instead of wood and that is an option and may well be something that we look at doing eventually but i think uh, that should be a fairly good little setup so let's start off down here now the tricky thing with the uh, molten glass, uh, sorry, the glass mix, is it's going to require four ingredients, so it's probably going to be a little bit of a mess. Uh, we're going to need three loose storage and one tank. Fair enough. Let's have a quick look at how this is going to take inputs. It takes the acid from the side, and the glass mix, the limestone, and the sorry, the uh, salt, the limestone, and the sand from the bottom, and then outputs the glass mix at the top. Uh, okay. Well, I'm not sure that we're going to really upgrade from a single one of these, but let's plan with the future in mind and also give ourselves enough space to play with. This is a little bit of a cramped area, I must confess. Uh, nevertheless, I think we can probably fit something around about here. Let's, let's try doing this. Now, I'm probably going to lay down a pause there just so we can get everything... Uh, popped in. I'm going to want most of the items set up down the side, running down the side. We're going to need three of these. This might be a little bit too tight for the vehicles to be able to deliver to. It probably will be, but we'll, we'll do our best, damn it. Now, should I ever want to expand this, let's build this with that in mind, even though I'm not going to then uh, build out the second one. So we would have probably all the loose storage going along the bottom and then this can easily just rise up travel along and then branch across and down and that would be fine so that would all work uh, given that uh, I will lift this up even though we're not going to be using it in that way right now oh really that is a bit of a weird connection there let me uh, just sort that out how very naughty uh, right so there we go Bring that up by one across and then down there we are perfect now we are going to want to set this one up to be acid no export we're not going to set it up to specifically pull i'll just wait for acid to be delivered next up let's see what are we going to be using the most of the most by far will be the sand so we'll give the sand the shortest route that one can just come straight out there and up there we go and this one will be the sand. No exports there. 
next up would be actually limestone and salt are equal so we'll just set this one up as limestone and this one up as salt again no exports on either one and at that point we should be able to comfortably bring that up all the way and across and down there we go and once again across and down and then the final one, the salt, is actually in a bit of an interesting position. Because I could take it up to three. And bring that all the way over here. The problem there is that getting that down from three is actually quite quite a, a, an issue. That being said, though, the interesting thing here is because we're weaving underneath, I could do something like this and I believe it would work. Just a little hop over there. It looks almost like it's braiding then, which is actually quite cool. Now, of course, we're not building these ones. The, this was just to make sure that I could if I wanted to, and I will leave that one elevated should I ever need to set that up. There we go. And then finally, we'll have the pickup silo right about here. This is not giving our trucks very much room at all. So I wonder... I wonder if this is possible after the fact. Let's have a quick look. Could I do that? Hmm. I could. I shall. Uh, we're not going to have crushed slag there. We'll just allow some dirt. That it, We're very lucky there, because that, that could easily have interfered with the uh, placement there. Uh, so I'm okay with that. We'll just fill that out just to make it work a little bit better and give us a little bit more room. But other than that, we should be fine. Now, this will also be loose, so we'll just bring that straight out. And there we go. This will be for glass... Oh, wait, wait. Of course, I'm creating a... Uh, I just said it was going to be a loose storage. And then I was building a regular storage for it. Silly me. Uh, this will be for glass mix. Is that all lined up? Yes, it is. Perfect. That one's not for import, that is purely for export. And there we go. That is all set up and ready to go. Fantastic. Okay, so whilst that's all being built, how about we head on over here and start work on the... Well, actually, I'm going <laughs> to... I know, I know, I'm pausing a lot. But the last thing I want them to do is to start building over here. Because the, the problem is, down there, I could possibly have even had that going while I was building it. Because they would have to cart the building materials from so far away. But over here, it's right next to the building materials. So they could easily get in my way. So let's uh, let's not do that one, shall we? Uh, right, now, but what we know is we're going to need... Well, actually, let's have a look at the recipe. It's going to produce exhaust. It's going to produce slag. That's okay. This will also produce slag, which is an interesting one. Can we have the slag coming out on the same side? We can. Marvellous. All right, that is uh, actually going to make this significantly easier for us. Now, how close can we make this without being too tight with our space? Hmm. I fancy we could probably get quite close in there. This, I may regret this later, but... I think there is a decided possibility that we're going to be able to pull this off. Let's have that output there and the glass output right beside it as well. Let's sure, pop that together. Now, I'm going to have to try and build this to the tune of this particular design. We're going to need the uh, slag coming back out there. Now, how much room do I want to afford myself? Let's, uh, let's give myself a decent bit of room. At least... Yeah, actually, we'll, we'll see if we can squeeze this in quite nice and tight. Uh, I want the slag going up there, so the, since the slag comes out directly to the side, that's nice and comfortable for me. We'll give a little bit of extra room here, just so that I can have pipes moving over the top. Because, of course, we're going to need to deal with the exhaust stack as well, which we can just place right there. So, first up then, let's get the molten channels. There we go, straight down from both of them. There we are. Uh, next up, I am going to want to know how we're going to connect these up. So this one's going to be the slag. So let's set that one up. No import there. This will be for glass panes right there. And no import there either. This will be no export. And we are going to want the glass mix. And this one, no export, will be for coal. 
There we go. Nice and indeed easy. Uh, this one I will keep reasonably full. I'm going to require at least two full trucks worth to be delivered. Uh, of course, I'm talking about the uh, larger trucks and should empty it when there are at least two trucks available. We don't ever want that to back up because if that backs up, everything else stops. I don't mind if this one is completely full because if this is completely backed up, we're not using the glass, so I don't care. But since this is a byproduct, the slag is a byproduct, and if that should get back stuff, then I stop producing the product that I want. I do want to give that one a priority empty order. Now, as for you, let's have a look. Uh, well, this one can go along the bottom, I guess. Would be nice and easy, like so. However, this one... Now, the problem here is that I am bringing this out along a path that I would usually not take. Still, I guess... Oh, have I connected it up there? Yes, I have. I didn't take it up. Uh, I guess we can have this go down and then up. It's not ideal, but uh, it will work. Let's uh, bring you up. There we go. And then across. And then all the way up to there. Across by one and down. Remember, always bring it out by one first so that you don't have any weird corners that you can't connect to later. There we go. That's actually quite nice and easy for us. Now, I want this one to be low down up until there, and then all the way up to the third level. And as soon as it gets to here, we can bring that down. Uh, it's not actually quite where I want it to be. Let's take it over to there. I want it to be on the ground by the time it levels out. For that corner to be literally on level zero, not a banking corner. There we are. And since I now know how quickly I rise up... Oh, is that working? Yes, there we are. Every now and then, I like to keep you with me while I'm designing these. Oh, I took it up one too high. My bad. Uh, every now and then, I, I do like to have you with me as I design this sort of thing. Uh, I do cut out this quite a lot, but uh, I do think that it is useful to see these being designed every now and then. There we go. Connect that up over there. And we're also going to want to bring out the slag from the glassmakers themselves. There we go. Now that's giving me everything I need to know about the exhaust. So I can bring that across and down. And this one just goes straight up. There we go. Lovely. And then finally, we need to bring out the glass via conveyor. I like to bring it up one away from the building itself so I can connect up to it. I do sometimes have to accept that I don't have enough room for that, but I, I genuinely much prefer it when there is a very distinct connection where it isn't immediately blocked at the uh, output point. But there we go. Everything is now in place and should all do its jobs. All right. Give me a couple of minutes to let uh, all of this get built, and by the end of it, hopefully you're going to come back to a fully functioning glass industry. And all the things that that will open up for us. Especially these. And there we have it. Glass is being produced and uh, slag is also being produced, though we don't really want that one. Uh, but everything seems to be running relatively smoothly, though uh, the deliveries are a little bit low in terms of priority. And I might actually want to bump those up just a little bit. Let me have a quick look at what the priorities are for. Uh, well, the priorities are relatively good for my iron though that is being delivered more or less direct from source i'm going to bump these priorities up to a six and a six as well hopefully that will allow us to get everything 
over here fast enough. Right, but as you can see, we've actually completely backed up the glass production, so it's time for us to begin work on the household goods production. Now, I think the best place for that to allow further expansion, though I have kind of capped off how much we can expand these things out a little bit, but I think we could probably fit in household goods production right behind here. Let's have a look. Where are the H's? There we go. So we're just going to need glass and wood for this one. Uh, if we go for the assembly electric in 60 seconds, it'll be able to consume nine wood, 12 glass and produce 18 household goods. So let's go ahead and start setting that up. Now we should, yes, we're actually doing amazingly well for all of our construction parts. So I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be able to just go ahead and use the highest tier production facility for this one. Uh, let's set you up something. Well, actually, let's let's go for the storage buildings instead. Actually, uh, let's pop that one about there, and then I can balance everything else off from that. Uh, actually, let me give myself just a little bit more room so that uh, vehicles can pass betwixt these. So there we go. That'll do fine. And actually, we need that one to be uh, the other way around as well. Uh, it helps if you copy the right one, really, doesn't it? Uh, there we go, that'll do. And then I can have one and two. There we are. This will be for household goods and import will be turned off. This will be for glass and this one can be for wood. There we go. Of course, these will have expert export turned off. I want them to keep a steady stockpile of these materials there. And now comes the time for the spaghetti. Uh, sadly. Uh, but, oh well. We're just going to have to live with that one. I think we should be able to fit I think possibly two. How many workers do these take? Ten each. Yes, we've got plenty of workers to be able to uh, make this work. Wow, I actually hurt myself saying that. I uh, would say I'm sorry, but uh, honestly, I feel that uh, that the fact that I suffered as much from that one as you probably did uh, relieves me of a certain amount of the guilt. All uh, right, we're going to have glass coming out here. It's a little bit space intensive, this one, I will confess, but uh, this should be fine. And then from you, we will rise up. Uh, actually, we'll come out and then up to about here. There we go. Straight across. All the way up. Come on. There we are. And one more. Just one more. There we go. And bring that out to about there. And from here, we should be able to connect up nice and easy like. There we go. Sorted. And then at the bottom, we simply need these to just come straight out and in. Just like so. There we go, and set these up for household goods, and we're pretty much sorted with that. That should not take them very long at all to set up, and in fact, considering we're about to start getting Unity, I was about to uh, fast build it. However, then it occurred to me, wait a second, I don't have a way to deliver them yet, so we should probably get that sorted as well. And it looks like I had a little bit of forethought over here, and I, though I'm not going to claim that one, actually. Uh, th this is just a happy accident, rather than me knowing what I'm doing. I'm not going to pretend. There we go. We will get this in position, and we will also want a stockpile. Uh, we could set up this to have two, but honestly, I think that would be more than enough. Uh, we'll just have a single one. However, I am going to stack this about there. This way it gives me room to expand out if I want to later on. And this then can oh, just drive out a little bit and along to here and in. There we go. This can be set up for household goods. And I want this one to be kept full pretty much as often as possible. This one I will quick build simply because it's in a little bit of a, a tricky position there. Uh, this does require some workers, but that shouldn't be a big issue for us overall. We are most of the way towards greenhouses now, and I'm incredibly happy about that. Hopefully these can get a fair old whack of resources delivered, but we'll have to see. Why did you come over here for 
when you had copper. Oh, you may have dropped by the uh, fuel station. That would make sense, actually. Uh, let's make sure that these are bumped up to 126. Now, I had them down at 72 for a little while just to ensure that everything was getting a bit of fuel, but I feel confident now that we should be able to manage that. And on that note, we've actually got fuel enough for our main ship. I think it's time for us to get out there and have a poke around, don't you? I think so, yes. Uh, let's see. Um... Now, there is a certain type of material that we're going to need in quite large quantities in the very, very near future. So I'm going to start exploring out in this direction in search of another town. I believe there is a town that can trade for electronic circuits. And the reason why we're going to need those, we can't currently build them, you see. However, we're going to need 60 of them a pop for this beautiful machine. Uh, let me find a truck. Okay, I'm going to have you go scrap. I'm also going to have you go scrap. I'm also going to have you go scrap as well. Now, the reason for that is we now have everything we need to start building the tier two trucks. Well, actually, the truck. Uh, up to now, we've only had pickups. Each one of these is worth three of the uh, of the pickups in terms of their cargo capacity. Now, I'm not sure about their fuel efficiency, but based only on how much cargo they can move, I will be aiming to scrap three pickups for each truck that we make. Or maybe, well, for the time being, maybe instead I will simply scrap two pickups per truck that I make. That will, whilst uh, reducing the overall fleet, still keep a, a decent amount of, uh, of movement around. Because whilst... Yes, the truck is worth three pickups. Three pickups can do three different jobs, whereas the truck can only do one at a time. And so we'll, we'll need to see where things balance on that one. I think it's probably wiser to aim for just two, uh, two separate uh, pickups being scrapped for each truck that I bring into the fold. Now, do we have plenty of wood? Oh, thank goodness, we do. Oof. All right. Marvellous. Uh, let's see, how long are you going to take to get done? It's going to take a little while because there's actually quite a lot of things that they need to bring over. Still, I'm fairly happy to, with that. Now, you will notice that we have set up the pipe work and just so that you can see how I've done that, and this, this is why I left the gap, by the way, between the pipes, is so that I could ro uh, lower them and rise them to meet the uh, pipe balances. This is effectively what you might be doing with a belt balancer in Factorio along a main bus. That, that was kind of my inspiration here. So each one of these is given priority back up into the main pipe work for the refinery. But if there is excess, then that gets piped out. And currently it just joins the pipes from our old refinery. And little by little, I am tearing this down. I'm decommissioning parts of it as we can to uh, continually reduce the uh, the footprint of this whole build and w pretty much as soon as we're out of the uh, the crude oil over here then we'll be getting rid of that at that at that stage I should imagine uh, that is all well and good and have we got any wood moving along yes we do oh fantastic this is marvelous all right, that takes... How long does it take to actually build one? 40 seconds, so it's actually not that far off the 60 seconds that I had it set up for. Still, once that starts flowing into the colony, we are going to see a big bump in Unity. Everything is set down here. That is marvellous. Very, very happy with that indeed. The excavators for the coal are pretty much just uh, sat idle for the time being, sadly. I could go ahead and just uh, force deliver things if I really, really want to do, and I am impatient enough to see one of these beautiful machines out and about in our logistics fleet to do just that. Ex immediately following that, though, once we've got these two made, I would like two of these. Now, that's all we're going to be able to afford right now. It costs 60 electronic parts, and we only have 137. However, it does appear... Oh. Uh, it does appear that we're in a fight. Very well, let's uh, see how this one goes down. I don't really uh, hold much hope for the enemy being able to put up much of a fight, though that being said, they are focused firing one of my turrets. This is something I wish my ship would do more often. Aim at the gun. It doesn't matter if you sink the ship. I mean, obviously, yes, if you sink the ship, then the gun goes with it, but you've got two cannons. You could probably disable their gun and then 
just take your, your sweet time doing the rest. Okay, we've uh, unlocked later. That's actually quite nice. We do not have the range to get to anything else. Much sad. Okay, well, you can head on home then. But that does allow us to start researching radar, which may be quite useful for us. But uh, what I was going to say is uh, once we've got uh, the research for Greenhouse done, uh, we may be able to find ourselves with the ability to build electronics. That is now a possibility. Though I'm going to need some way of getting silicon. Or rather quartz, actually. Uh, getting that, I have no idea how we're going to get to that. So to make plastic, you need uh, naphtha, chlorine, use that with plastic to and use glass and plastic. Oh, do you just use glass and plastic to make the PCB? I thought there was a recipe with regards to quartz in here, but apparently that is not the case. It looks like uh, we might not need... Oh, no, there we are, silicon. There we go. So silicon comes from quartz, coal, graphite. That gives you molten silicon. And then molten silicon plus hydrogen makes silicon poly and use that and copper to make electronics or a PCB copper and silicon to make electronics. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so there's a much higher um, consumption of copper over there. Either way, we're going to need silicon to be able to make our own electronics, uh, which requires quartz. Now, I've had a look around the island and I have not seen any quartz, but it could be that certain things are only revealed once you research the tech for them. Uh, I don't see any uranium on the island either, but we do have nuclear tech, so I wouldn't be too surprised if uh, something maybe over there reveals itself once we're at the, the correct technology level to be able to work on that. Might also be something that we need to do through exploration as well. But with that said and done, I think we're in a fairly good position. Where is our truck? Uh, we'll quick deliver that one. There we go. Look at that chonky, chonky unit of a vehicle. You could actually load a pickup truck onto that truck. That is how big it is. That is amazing. But with the rains coming to an end, I am afraid that is it for this episode as well. Uh, parting is such sweet sorrow. I've had an enormous amount of fun recording this episode, and I hope you have had just as much fun watching it. Do let me know if you have any feedback or suggestions down in the comments below. And a like on the video lets me know that you'd like to see more Captain of Industry in the future. But that is going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, as our cargo ship leaves for another run over to the uh, lumber mill, do take care, everyone.